No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, NFL Cartel Bo is in the building. <laughs> Goddamn right. How you feeling on this uh, beautiful Friday? Man, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving the Cali weather. This, you know what I'm saying? You know, I just did five, so five and a fifth. So this hill is lovely to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm loving it. I'm digging it, baby. I ain't lying to you. Anything's better than the the prison life? Yeah, got them right. <laughs> just, fuck all that, you know, they lock down, all that booze and the fuck that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's lovely. Definitely. So we'll, we'll get into like uh, everything that led up to the the prison sentence and everything like that. But yeah. let, let's talk a little bit about uh, your early days and where you're coming from. Uh, yeah, I'm from like well, this big ass dog. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, He's man, you got good. a mind of his own. <laughs> but hey, nah, I'm from so I'm from Lakewood. You know what I'm saying? North okay. side, Houston, Texas. You feel me? Uh, Killer Lake, Myrtlewood, uh, Wayside, Woodland. You feel me? Then block Blue Stove, baby. So that's where I'm from. I'm from the north. And shit, you know what I'm saying? What was life like coming up? Boy, <laughs> it was wild. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Murderwood. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't speak for itself. You feel me? It ain't nothing. You know, you grew up in it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't sworn in. I was born in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knew who I'm grew here. Hmm. So it's just, you know, you're accustomed to your living. You're accustomed to where you at. What were your parents like? Oh, shit. You know, my daddy was really, he doped out. Mama was really, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much the same. But she was trying to make it. But, you know, it was hard when you had you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't that many that many options. So, you know, when you know where you come from, where I come from, trying, you know, it'd be fucked up like that. So, you know what I'm saying? You just try to make it to help them put it, put them in a better situation. But, you know, they doing a lot better now than they was then. Because mm. it was real fucked up when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Really? One thing, you know, I had too many doles, too many options. So, you know, it was it was kind of crazy, you feel me? So, I'm a granny baby, though. My okay, granny, that's what I was My granny say, raised yeah. me, you know okay. what I'm saying? Cause my mama had me at 16, uh -huh. but, you know, she I was born and brought to the heart of the hood, you know what I'm saying, the blue stove on Woodland and Dean. So my granny hired right in front of the blue stove. So I'm accustomed to seeing certain shit, you feel me, that, you know, the average motherfucker wants to see. Like, when I was seven years old, I watched my get his brains blew out at the pay phone at the blue stove. Really? You know saying? Yeah. And you're a kid just standing there? No, nah, I was like... See, Granny used to give me these goddamn notes and tell me to go to the store and the man to give me a lot of ticket and some, you know, this, that, and other, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? It was just one of them days, you feel me? It was just going on. It's back. It was real, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it is what it is, like, you know what I'm saying? But that, that's not, that's just, that's where we at. That ain't the first and only thing, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you learn, you, you adapt quick, right. you feel me? When you look back on that, you're like, damn, my childhood brain, my seven-year-old brain, like that's just not a normal thing for a little kid to see. Well, yeah, like, yeah, it really was when you got to the point because it's like you, you start, you don't know that it ain't normal until you get to going somewhere else, you feel me? Like, so you don't know, like, you just accustomed to that. You used to hearing gunshots and helicopters and train trains and all that type of shit. So you just like, it's just the norm to you. And, you know, like, Granny tried to keep them away from it, you know what I'm saying? And, but, you know, if that's all you're riding, that's all you see, shit, that's what it is. Like, mm. you know, so. And then mama had me at 16. You know what I'm saying? Daddy was 18. He went to the military. You know what I'm saying? He came back a little fucked up. And, you know, mama was trying to get it however she got it. You feel what I'm saying? So all I had was granny. You know what I'm saying? And your grandma was just raising you or were there other kids that she was kind of taking my, care of? Uh, my mama's sister kids, too. Okay. So it was me, my cousin here, my cousin April. April just passed away. We just went to a great uh, burial site. So, uh, now nah, it was up, like, you know what I'm saying? I was the baby, though, out the three that Granny was raising. But mm -hmm. everybody go to Granny High because Granny High right in front of the Blue Store. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So she, Blue Store, the cornerstone of the hood. And she, you just, it was what it was. You feel what I'm saying? And you were getting in trouble from a young age? or I mean, it was bad in the but it was just, it was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It, it was just fucked up. It was a fucked up environment, it was a fucked up hood. It was, it was fucked up, man. Like, you know, but I ain't putting that on nobody, putting that on that. You know, you just, you don't get to decide where you're born and grow up at, you know what I'm saying? But it's on where you go and what you're doing when you get up out of there, you uh -huh. feel me? You determine your path, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we be fucked up and understanding and believing that it be regular and it take you to actually get to doing something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had got half my legs shot off with a 12 gauge. At what age? You know what I'm saying? I was, what, 16, 17? 16. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But And what were you up to at 16? No you were already running around in the streets, all kinds of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, no good. Doing shit I ain't had no business doing. And what were you doing that somebody shot at you that you got your legs? Something I had no business doing. You were doing robbery or something? Something I had no business doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that shit, 
it's it's nothing. You know, so I had to see myself out of walk again, though. That shit was here. Like, I hated that because it was like a nigga had to, like, it was at first, it was like they was like, you ain't gonna walk again. They were like, we might can walk again. Then they did the surgery, they took the artery up out of here, put it in my leg. Wow, you know really? what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? My leg fucked up. Like, I had my blew off like a motherfucker. Right, because some people might not be able like, like my oh, damn. Yeah, like, I had my sh blew off like a so that's like the area that they hit you? Right. It blew out off to the bone. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Close contact type shit. How long could you uh, not walk? How long were you in the hospital? I was there for a minute. I was there for a minute. So I, uh, long story short, though, it was like, I don't know. I was always telling myself, man, you got me up. I'm going to walk. It wasn't even about the what the doctors was talking about and all that shit because they said it was painful. But once I started adapting to the pain, I realized pain is really mental. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really ain't, you know, it's just a mental thing. It's a trigger that you know something wrong. You feel me? Once you get past that part, you feel me? You're really good. So I started, like, at first, I used to try to stand up. I had the little cane, the little crutch. And then, like, ah, black eye, it fall out. Blacked out in the hospital. My Aunt, uh, my Aunt Judy, my cousin Emil, they were helping me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I blacked out the first time I tried to stand up. Then I did it again. I blacked out. But then I sometimes I stand a few seconds longer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They were saying it was because my blood flowing hadn't been doing that and I hadn't stood up for so long. Mm. So then they got to, when I started standing up, damn, now I got to stand up and, 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 and go from the crutches to the walker. I mean, from the walker to the crutches, like step by step. But when I got to the highs, you know what I'm saying, I had to like crawl up the stairs and shit, you feel me? Because my mm. mom ended up, Getting the high about that age. My mom ended up getting the highs. You know what I'm saying? She had get a nice house. She had started doing a little better for herself. But it was still around the corner from the hood. Mm. It wasn't necessarily in the hood, but it was right around the corner from the hood. It's five minutes from Granny House. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So it was like, so shit, I had to crawl upstairs. I used to tie a trash bag because I had all the blood and fluid and shit. I used to change all them goddamn wraps. Mm. You feel me? And climb up the goddamn thing and get in the shower and just lay in there and let the water rain on me. You know what I'm saying? And get in the shower because I, I couldn't walk. Right. I to take care of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But being outside, like everybody wanna be outside, like this cool. Like they ain't got no choice. Did you have sports dreams before that? Yeah, I hooped. I was sorry to I'm gonna talk shit. I'm sorry to <laughs> I am trash mo I mean I ain't gonna like a dunk. Had a lot of jump, it was cool, but you gotta understand I went to school with niggas who actually went to the league. Like mm -hmm. I went to school with JC. I don't know if you remember Jonathan Simmons, he from Houston. Mm -hmm. He uh he went, he played for the Spurs, he played with Kawhi and them, he went to Orlando, got a deal. I played with my boy Big Al. He played overseas with Germany. He, he was gonna play for the Rockers in Orlando. Like it was just like I played with in high school with some dudes who ended up really doing something with that ball. Mm -hmm. So me compared to them, hell no. Nah. Like I was trash in the but I was cool to me. You know what I'm saying? Was, you, how tall are you? Six six. Six six. You look like you should be a linebacker. Man, knock it the f off. <laughs> but is that I mean, you you're probably a lot bigger now yeah, yeah, than when yeah, you were yeah, sixteen, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I was skinny then, like yeah. I was skinny like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was just different then, man. It was like kinda of fed up. It was real it was it was kinda of fed up, but you know, things happen, you know what I'm saying what I'm saying? How do you get back to normal life after having your leg blown off like that? Jeez, you just you gotta keep going. You gotta eat. You need money. You went back to school? Yeah, I did. I actually did go back to school because I, 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 I was determined to graduate. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody in my family had was graduating. Mm. So, like, you feel me? Like, nobody as far as my granny grandkids. So I was, like, the first kid to graduate. And that's all she asked me to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So the school, when they heard what happened, they was bringing me to the classwork. And, shit. and I was work doing some of that shit. And then some of that I had my sister help me with. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like, I ain't no dumbass. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, the problem is be feeling like niggas be dumbasses because they from the hood. But now nah, you know how to think. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you know you got any kind of hustle, you got to know how to think. Mm. You know what I'm saying? There just be certain areas that you strong in, certain areas in your weekend. You know I mean, you're no dumbass. Ain't nothing wrong with going to school, get an education. And so I was <laughs> never no dumbass. Like, I was just shit. I was just out there. Like, you feel me? It was just like the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Thing, I got to a point where I was like, man, I'm finna graduate, I'm finna try to go to school, I'm finna do this, but then my mama ended up going to jail for egg rub with a daily weapon. You know what I'm saying? So when she went to jail for egg rub with a daily weapon, and then my daddy was still having this episode of shit, I had three little sisters that I had to worry about. Oh so shit, I got to, I was fed. like, I gotta get some more money, like this school, I ain't here like this cool, but you know what I'm saying? Granny can't do everything by herself, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Granny raised me, Granny was old enough to be my great grandmama raising me, you know what I'm saying? So she got my three little sisters, my sister needs seeing feet, like we ain't got nobody, ain't no Coming through blessing game and all that like this, this is all we got. So it was like shit, I'm on my side. You feel me? It is what it is. Real good for a couple of years. Went did a little big, came home, 
did good a little bit, and I just like, I'm going to see what the rap shit do. You were outside just hustling and whatnot? I mean, I was outside. I'm just leaving it at that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was outside. There's a lot of gangs in your area when you were coming up? I'm from Murderwood. Mm. Like, you know, there's, there's big, big, yes. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the, the, the fans think gangs, they think Chicago and L.A., and they don't necessarily think about it in Texas. Man, you got to understand, like, the gang shit different in Texas. So, like, like it's more of cliques and hood. Like, a lot of war, like, it was Lake Woods, City Gas Wars. Then you got a lot of clique wars, like the, it's the South, South, East, South, West. Niggas got a bunch of shit going on. Mm. There's so many people dead behind this shit. Ain't gonna never stop. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but it's like, like, nigga be game, man. Like, Lakewood is a, a really a Hoover hood. You know what I'm saying? It really is. You feel me? So, it's a, it, it, but you still got a couple of niggas that grew up in Lakewood, people know their whole life. They probably go get put down somewhere else with their cousin over here that's treetop or something or whatever they is, wherever they at. You know what I'm saying? But for the main part, niggas ain't. Riding this like I have seen niggas get their shit pushed in on gang shit just because they was doing the wrong shit and mm-hmm. wrong time playing with the wrong people. Like my nigga Jacob, my nigga Kuna's son, he doing a beer right now. You know what I'm saying? Blew a nigga Brian's out because he was in there doing all that bullshit. Like, we were about 17. And shit, you know what I'm saying? He just, I ain't never, that's the first time I ever seen a nigga just say, I did it. Yeah, went in there, took the beer. I was, me up. You know what I'm saying? So, you didn't even try to fight it? <laughs> that nigga be fucked up in the head. Like, you know, you would think it's something in the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say it's like you be accustomed to shit. Like, you know, Texas is different. Like, if you don't really know, you don't know. See, Houston, a beautiful city, and it got beautiful parts, but it got fucked up parts, too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some real fucked up parts in Houston. Like, if you don't know, you're going to get everything you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you come down there thinking you, and it happens all the time. Just move down there or go down there thinking this, 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 and you find out this, that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you got parts that's beautiful. It's a lovely place to stay. Yeah, if you ain't in the bullshit, but if you looking for the bullshit, you're going to get everything you're looking for. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, gang-wise and gang shit like that, like, you got gangs, but more or less be with families, hoods and circles and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, yeah, you have a blood and a crib kicking with each other, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm groove, but my, my little bro is 6-0. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Frog, so, it's like, you see what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't big, big on that. I have seen shit go down, but more or less it be like, they killed our people. We finna smack four or eight people. And mm-hmm. then they coming back to get theirs. And then they, they, that's what they be on. You know what I'm saying? So it don't be more or less the set shit. It be a more or less nigga, my people gone. Do you even, like, cause a lot of, like, pretty much all the gang names that you just named are gangs that originated in LA. I mean, some do, of, do y'all even give a fuck about that? Or is that nah, just like man, ancient my, history to y'all? Man, my crib will come from Houston. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about, you feel me, what they got going on is that I know some things that are going on there. You know what I'm saying? We be tapped in mm-hmm. with things that's going on, but at the end of the day, what we got going on is in Lakewood. Right. So we ain't worried about what motherfuckers got going on. Hey, we got our own problems. We got our own ops, and we got our own people that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like, yeah, a lot of shit migrated. You feel me? Doing, I'm going to say like the early, late 80s, early 90s, it was, it was a lot of motherfuckers moving down here, moving down there. Mm. You feel me? Formulating and doing things. So, yeah, like, when I was coming up, everybody was HGC. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's all you really saw. You know what I'm saying? So when you, ooh, ooh, like, you can't just get out and go in the store with no red shirt on. and like, People going to beat the dog shit out you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They going to go in your pockets, break in your car. They gonna, man, you're going to f*** off. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? You got to know where you at. Same thing as if you go on the other side, you might go to Braisewood. And, yeah, nigga, them real live bounty hunters. They, they going to give you everything you looking for. You know what I'm saying? Or what it like? It'd it be like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you got to know where you at. Mm. You feel me? And for more or less, it really be like, fuck be riding with they people more or less versus the gang shit. More, more on that as young as when my get older, niggas be about money. Mm. Niggas trying to get some chabala. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas trying to <laughs> help their goddamn kids, help their goddamn mama and daddy get somewhere. So, shit, people be having things going on, but, you know, the city, it gets slimy. It get a little greasy. You know what I'm saying? So, you got people playing on people and this, that, and the other. You know, it's just a bunch going on, you know. It's a bunch going on, you know what I'm saying? I say all that bullshit out there for you, but it's also a lot of good shit going on. Texas has a historic reputation for innovative slang. So you calling money ciabatta, a.k.a. bread? Yeah. It's just like, in, c- in case anybody missed that, <laughs> I'm going to give that a 100 out of 100 slang-wise. That was fire. Yeah, like, Trying to get some, yeah, yeah, nigga need that guala, tabata. Definitely. That's what, that's what they on. Okay, so you graduate high school. Yeah. And then you're what, just like kind of in the street for a few years before nah, you catch like a case? like I was trying to go to school, like you feel me? 
Granny was talking to her, like, you got a chance to lead your life. You got shot. Think about all the shit you went through. Remember, you was homeless when you was 12 and I was, like, 13. Like, I was, you feel me? She was just, like, go to school. So I was trying to go to school, but my mama went to end up kissing the case. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The first year when I was in, in college, she caught her egg robber with a deadly weapon. You know what I'm saying? And she got caught up with some niggas on some shit or whatever, however, may that be. I ain't talking about that. But it put my granny in a stronghold where she had to take in my three younger sisters who were still in school. Not only that, she had my other cousin, April, staying there, who just passed away with her kids. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like my uncle Spooky was there, then he ended up overdosing and passed away. Like, it was just shit going on. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in school and everybody in need. You see what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, I'm in school, but my sister needs school. They need school clothes. Is everything on granny, though. You feel me? You ever try getting a regular job and it just wasn't for you? Man, come on, man. That's just slavery. Yeah, it don't work for you? Man, that's just slavery. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I try. Like, ain't nothing wrong with having no job. You know what I'm saying? It's better than being broke. Being broke is lame. Mm. Getting your job doing so, just say that lie. Nigga, do it. Like, get you some Chibata. Get you some coins, man. You need them Chuck and Cheese tokens. <laughs> on this ride, you're broke no more. Ain't no more. Wait, like hell no. Right. So it's like, uh, like you got to do what you got to do to provide. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what if ain't nothing shaking on your end? Everybody can't hustle. Some people just ain't got it in them. Some people just pose to go to work and woo, 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 woo. It's just about what you do. It ain't about it ain't about the work and it's about formulating a plan. What you working for? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like some people just go to work every day, little check to check and pay bills. Nah, you gotta put a time frame on that shit. I'm gonna do this for this long, and then once I get here, I need to be doing this. I need to be here. I need to have this much time to say up. I need to be working on this job. I think you know a lot of people with regular jobs at times will think about entering into a criminal conspiracy, but then their better instincts will just be like, well. Even if I could make that amount of money, it's got this amount of risk, and I don't want to risk and going nah, to jail that, or whatever. Nah, that come from, like, they say a motherfucker go to work eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, sometimes overtime, 12 hours a day, right? They got down slave, and they doing what they got to do. They woo, woo, woo. But they barely paying their bills. Mm. Rent do, you know what I'm saying? Rent man ain't trying to hear none of that. He ain't got that Tabata, we gonna holler. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, you got to put that together. That water get cut off, that's on you. When people don't give a about that shit, and people don't about what you got going on. He got you slave, and they take care of their kids, or they this and that. Everybody packed in the house, trying to make shit easy, trying to have some, and you know what I'm saying, whatnot or whatever. And here come this nigga up the street that just made the money you made in a month mm -hmm. and twenty and twenty four forty eight hours. Shit, come on now, a temptation. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's 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 what you want. You know you can do, you like, damn, what am I slaving for if I can, what, what my family really need me? That put you in a bind. You know what I'm saying? That put you in a real bind. Motherfuckers don't be feeling like they had a real opportunities as everybody else, you know? Mm. Everybody get a chance and a choice. It's about how you take advantage of it. You feel me? Definitely. Your choices determine your destination. So how'd you end up catching that first case that you mentioned? Which one? Uh, the first one, like, while you were... Uh well, like I don't after high school, no cases, or whatever. I, I don't it's just been too many, or what? Because this is way before the music video thing, right? Yeah, I was younger then. Like I, 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 I was younger then. I, I was just out doing some shit I ain't had no business doing. You know what I'm saying? I was doing some shit I ain't had no business doing. And you got locked up for how long? See, they had gave me five. I did two on the five. I did three on parole. Came home. You know what I'm saying? Start getting a little money. And you know, I was catching little other little cases in between that shit, this, that, and the other, but. Then that Hoover video, we did the Hoover video. See, you gotta understand, when that rap shit came, like, I was having coins then. I was having some real live money. So it was just like, I had to do something. I knew that shit wasn't gonna last forever, you feel mm -hmm. me? And everybody f with, like, like, bitch, you go hard on that mic. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, like, I ain't got no niggas around me, like, there's no groupies and no partners and no whatever. These my brothers. These, we all grew up in the same circle together, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no big eyes, little use. But you started. So, around with rapping at what age? I'm going to say for real, like 20. Okay. But I wasn't ever taking it serious. Right. Like I wasn't ever taking it serious. Like nigga might go to the studio, we'll, we'll do a song. When I, when I bought my own studio equipment and shit, and I was in that bitch, and I was really like learning how to use a pro tool, taking the shit serious, like we'll, we'll, I started finding myself in that. Mm. Feel me? Like I'm really like, okay, this is me. This is who I am. This is my voice. This is my sound. I start finding myself, getting comfortable, knowing how I want to sound coming out the speakers. Like you got to really do that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just they 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 hope it works and they don't know what they're working for. You know, mm -hmm. and I didn't know the the hood was gonna gravitate me towards me anyway because of who I am and 
you know, how, what we grew up like, I'm one of, I, I, it's us, you feel me? They don't look at me like I'm a rapper. They, we, it's one of us, you feel me? And everybody knows it's authentic. It's real. So everybody just like, damn. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So the city instantly gravitate. And once the city gravitate to you, it ain't a matter of time for surrounding towns and surrounding cities gravitate to you. Then eventually you're going to have a state. And then eventually you're going to have a next state. And eventually, and shit, that's how this shit just start going. If you're, a, if you're a rapper in Houston, do you need, like a street rapper, do you need to be real in order to succeed? Yeah, motherfuckers ain't really. I mean, in the game today, everybody, it's a lot of foo-foo-ass motherfuckers out here. So, like, I can't, it ain't on me to speak on what the next man got going on. You know, if you take care of your family, feed your family, doing you. But, you know, motherfuckers ain't respecting that shit. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got some rappers that has made it, but motherfuckers ain't. And they jamming and people jamming all over the country. But at home, motherfuckers ain't listening to that shit. Like, mm. But I'm happy for them. Like, in the city, happy for them. And they, they made it. But it's just different. You feel me? Like, you know... This motherfucker going through what I'm going through because they came from right here. We ate the same summer sausage from the same store. We had to pay the same water company. We all uh, paid the same light bill, center point. We all got the, you know what I'm saying? That's different. We had to stand on some of the same corners and go through the same shit. We was all in the same projects, have a stop project. We was doing the same shit. We all had to run from the same laws. You see what I'm saying? Motherfucker had to run from the same jump out boys, hitting the corner like it'd be different. You know what I'm saying? Versus a motherfucker who just, you good, you got talent. Yeah, you go hard. They're jamming. That nigga nice. But, you know what I'm saying, stay in that lane. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't try to put on like you was over here going through all this shit we've been going through and you ain't even went through none of this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't know about no bond money and no lawyers and them resets and going to court and shit. That shit get real. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't that motherfucker fighting them cases and them people answer their phone. You know what I'm saying? Them fun getting low. Yeah, that shit get real. You know what, mm. what I'm saying? Bitch ain't answering the phone and all. Yeah, yeah. They gonna show you, it's gonna show you it's real. So like, motherfuckers don't really respect it, but if you got a craft and you good, they'll fuck with you. You right. see what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers ain't gonna just drop hate on you. But when it comes to the kind of music that you make, I feel like the people are with it enough that they're not gonna listen to somebody who's totally faking what they're talking about, pretty right? Pretty much, yeah. pretty much. But if you're like, Travis Scott or you make the stallion or whatever. It's like, yeah, hey, nobody give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, you, yeah, you make they, great yeah, music. It is yeah, what it they is. With yeah. You. yeah, you go hard in the bitch. They with you. They gonna help push you. They gonna jam you. They gonna you see boo boo. They gonna be happy for you and all that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like they can never try to uh, get in the lane of like the lane I'm in or like a Maxo in or mm. like a, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying because but they would never try because that's not them. They being themselves and that's why they so successful because you have to be yourselves. There's no point of trying to be foo foo. You know what's funny when you mention Texas rap to like more normy ass people, they always still go back to like the early two thousands, the Paul Walls, Slim Thug, et cetera, Switcher House ass era. Well, Whereas when they, I, were, they were never trying to be gangsters. Oh right. They were shining, looking good, peace and chain, elbows, eighty four, diamond grills, pouring syrup, sipping drink, popping pill, or uh, uh, smoking, like riding, right. coming down, all that. They weren't never on no Kill a motherfucker, bang, bang. Uh, they wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? They were shining, looking good. But, and but people loved it. They were, they were like, like that chopped and screwed era, like stands out in people's minds so much. Whereas when I look at all the rappers who popped off out of Texas over the last however many years, most of them rap pretty fucking fast. Yeah. And, well, and, it, 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 it's true because people being themselves, they're not trying to be mm. that. You gotta understand, it was a whole way went down with that shit. Like, yeah. Y'all don't really understand the real history of that shit. Like, them elbows and the wheels, y'all be seeing like it was an era, bro. Like at one point in time, for a long time, it was dead man wheels. Like motherfucker, it's a lot of people's souls in the pit. You know I'm saying 1984, 1983 Kragers. There was a limited amount that was made. You know what I'm saying? So that's what come off the 1983 and uh, 1984 Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? The uh, El Eldorado Barrettes mm -hmm. and. Motherfuckers in the city, that's what you riding on in red pretty much. If you was riding on anything but them wheels, you lame as hell. Like, it don't matter what you got, you ain't no shit. That's how motherfuckers looking at you. And you gotta be complete. Candy paint, screens coming down, pop a trunk, all that shit. Like, that's how they coming. And if you ain't coming like that, you faking out here. You know what I'm saying? You really here faking because it ain't it's a limited amount. You can have fifty thousand dollars, motherfucker won't sell you no wheels because it's a limited amount. So it got to a point where motherfuckers were robbing and killing for them wheels left and right. Motherfucker blowing niggas brains out at lights. Motherfuckers robbing, kill. I know nigga that killed his brother and doing time by some wheels. Like it got real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was real, real, it's real culture in that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? And a motherfucker from the north going to the south side robbing. Uh, uh, them niggas, they, a lot of them niggas selling dope. South side niggas selling dope, killing niggas that's coming to rob. And like, for real, like, it was, it's a lot of history. It's more than just, you feel me? That's why the culture's so big and it's still strong like that. You see what I'm saying? And then you got Screw was the voice for the south. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't know that Screw was the voice. Screw was just a regular motherfucker that Screw tapes. You know what I'm saying? Like, he made his own little thing. He made his own sound, and people loved it and gravitated to it. Right. You got your homeboys coming in there rapping, going hard, like your Kiki's, your Pokey, uh, 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 all the uh, Fat Pats. Oh, my God. Like, you got all them coming in freestyling. They stand up, but they leave. They go, woo, woo, woo. But they end up freestyling about shit they going through every day, too. But you're you're a little younger, but it sounds like you kind of really got the history lesson. Yeah, like, man, people, it, people I, care I, about the history of Texas yeah, in, yeah, in terms of the yeah, rap because shit. Because we see it. We grow up in it. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you growing up seeing that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my my cousin coming home crying because her boyfriend got robbed at the life for his wheels. They pistol whipped him, shot him and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got to be older to know what the fuck going on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's why they was they was labeling them the wheels, dead man wheels. Motherfucker, that was the name of the motherfucker. They were dead man wheels, bro, because motherfucker do, do anything about them wheels. You know what wow. I'm saying? Like, anything. But it got to a point where Texas Wild Wheels start... I guess they got the pattern for them and start making them. Then they start making them longer and people start liking them better. And all them wheels that people was killing for, you can't even sell them motherfuckers for five hundred dollars. Motherfucker don't you can't get them motherfucking rims away. Don't nobody want that shit now. Nah. Mm. But it's a long history about that shit. So that's why people love that shit. So when they had a block party, they hold it down, they were well, yeah, they looking good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, Pimp C, U G K, everybody, yeah. Like it's a culture. Mm. It's a real live culture behind that shit. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And people don't be understanding that. So NFL is a rap crew, or is that some other I shit? Like, it's some other shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like, I, I'm caught, I, I'm in the field, Cartel Bow, but, you know, my shit being Cartel Bow, because, like, as far as field, like, I got this gang infringement shit. So, like, I got this. I can't have no part to do with no gang, this gang. They, they can violate a motherfucker. But you can still call your rap name NFL Cartel Bo? No, nah, Cartel Bo. Oh, I mean, okay. And that's just on a safety tip. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want no reason to be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? They just took BG to jail for rapping. Right. Like, what the fuck, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? They looking for a reason to fuck with you. They just want to know if you're going to get it to them. Talk to the rappers all the time from Atlanta and shit who are terrified yeah, to claim any yeah, kind of shit yeah, publicly. Yeah, because they, they own it. The gang infringement real. Yeah. And niggas yelling, gang, 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 getting that courtroom saying, name, name, name. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now, mine's solid, but that don't mean the other motherfuckers solid. No, the other motherfuckers claiming this shit, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We stumped down. Like, ain't nobody did nothing on my case. You right. know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, it was just fucked up how they blew it up. Had me all on a breakfast club, Charlemagne, <laughs> all that goof ass shit. I mean, I understand he a media guy. Right. I had to get to the parts where, like, man, this man's just doing his job, man. He mm -hmm. the media guy. Yeah, he gonna put a little sauce on it to make it this, this, this. But at the end of the, day, end of the day, it made international headlines. Fuck it. And this shit was on CNN, dude. Like, so what, what was your perspective on Maxo as, as someone who's rapping and he's, he's representing the same thing as you? It's like, cuz, we know they just, they just like us, they on the other side of town. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. But, you know, like, motherfuckers be so closed off and closed-minded. It wasn't never going to, like, it ain't like we was going to ever go over there or they was going to ever come over here because, you know, it's us and that's them. You know what right. I'm saying? But it was all love, you feel me? Once a motherfucker did connect the dots and put the pieces together. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's all about progression and seeing the next motherfucker come up and get in a better situation. You feel me? These people want to hear us tell our stories and shit like that. They want to hear about, you know, this, that, and other. So, like, Broden gave me a whole bunch of game. You feel me? Like, I was doing it and he kind of, Grab a nigga like, yeah, I see what you got going. Woo -woo. Like, but tweak it like this though. You know what I'm saying? Put a little more professionalism in it. Mm. Put a little more business in it. Do it really. Take a little of this off. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, be more to a, you know what I'm saying, uh, environmental friendly. Be more like, you know what I'm saying? He would teach a motherfucker some shit. But what <laughs> made you what made him want to fuck with you? Because as a rapper who's popping out of the city, it's kinda like by shining a light on you that could also potentially take people well, see, away from his time, music, I right? Was the hottest artist coming out of Houston. Uh -huh. So when he look at that and then I, I just figured he like, oh cuz groove. And then his partners tell him, like, this nigga this, this nigga go hard in the bitch coming out the north. Mm. You no, know, he from Southwest. They from Park from Park Square Business. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They like the lake. So it's like, well, yeah, this nigga hard, could, good, 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 And, you know, he reached out, you know what I'm saying? It, it was just all love from there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like, what really gave him love, like, cause, you know, motherfuckers ain't coming to the lake, man. Like, motherfuckers is not coming to Lakewood. Like, they might tell you they coming to Lakewood. Motherfuckers like that. When we did that whole video and Cuz pulled up, 
Like the hood had a whole another level of respect for him. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You said he pulled up solo, right? Yeah. So everybody was like fucked up, like, oh yeah, we fuck with this nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause we know and everybody know like the motherfuckers don't come over here. Mm. You feel me? And then it's like when I came to Foreign Park, I came to Foreign Park, but I ain't come solo. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to know what's up, but he came solo, it was like, okay. Yeah, like it was all love, you feel me? And it was real. Because you guys even naming the song Hoover, it's kind of, was was it like a moment of a little bit of unity that didn't exist previously in terms of the city? Or at least mutual <laughs> respect? Houston different. You know what I'm saying? It was basically like, Cub pulled up on me. He had been doing a lot of shows and a lot of this and that. Other. Like I was saying, I was hot like with, the different platforms to say cheeses and this and that. Woo -woo. I mean, I'm everybody posting it. They, I'm hot, you know what I'm saying? But I'm coming. So he like, well, man, yeah, I, I got to get one with you. So he pulled up, thug, like, man, put some on. I, I played some shit, but I was like, this is what you want. I know what he want, because he grew. You feel me? So he's like, I know what you want. And I played that bitch. He was like, load that motherfucker up. And I recorded him, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how to do my own. You feel me? Oh, really? You're yeah. an engineer? Yeah, I wow. know how to do all that shit. So it was just like, it was all authentic and all real. Like, it just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when real recognize real shit, what you gonna get? You gonna get real. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You put that shit together. That's just how that shit went. So from your perspective, that music video was pretty much just a regular-ass music video that you just filmed in the neighborhood? Nothing pretty special? Much. Nothing crazy? No, not to us, because you gotta understand, it's gotta understand, it's niggas in that video that's dead. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? From my baby Lulu to uh, D to... It's a lot of motherfuckers in the video dead, huh? So, it's six, seven years old now at this yeah, point. So. Uh, yeah, I had did the fib. It's about six years old now. So it's like... I got some people gone in that video, homie. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, motherfuckers ain't give a fuck about you being this and what y'all done laid down and who y'all is. Like, if they know you out here and they got a chance to get you, they gonna get you. They gonna spin on you. That's what they gonna do. So you can't get caught, you know what I'm saying, lacking it. And, and you, you, you tripping? Nah, no, I ain't tripping. I'm cripping. You tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you. Like, you can't get caught. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a motherfucker just, like, I ain't bringing one gun to the video. Not one. And I ain't asked nobody to. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, motherfuckers can't, you got to know you not finna come around here like, it ain't no, it ain't good. You know what I'm saying? You saying that the video put a additional spotlight on certain people? No, that's not it did, but it didn't. I'm saying it did because in the wrong way. Definitely for the cops. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't supposed to go like that. You feel me? It wasn't supposed to go like that. Yeah. Like, they had been wanting us off the street. They had told, they were fucking with motherfuckers, telling them, we don't know what y'all doing, how y'all doing, but when we find out, we taking all y'all down. Mm. Type of ass shit, pull you over, beat you up. You know what I'm saying? It's 100 degrees, summertime. They handcuff me, throw me in the back seat, turn the heat up all the way up. Sweat me out, dry me out, try to, uh, uh, what's that shit called? I couldn't breathe and shit. It's the middle of the summertime. Uh, uh, police did that to me. You feel me? Like, fucking with you. Yeah, we gonna get y'all. And then that video gave him the reason to come on down and get a motherfucker. Mm. That's pretty much what that was. And they said a bunch of shit that wasn't true. Like, Basically. Even uh, my, my friend Kareem, who's in town from Texas, as soon as I mentioned that video, he was like, oh, yeah, the one that they filmed in the school district and shit. Yeah, it's like, that was a lot. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm like, no, See, I think that, that was school, marketing. Yeah, that, that school was destroyed by Hurricane Harvey. Oh, wow. Right? Hurricane Harvey had destroyed that school. I know. And it was empty. It was abandoned. Wasn't nobody there. And people who came to with the little kids who, some of the kids, well, they, they wanted to meet me. Mm. It was people, kids who was at the video that wanted to meet me type shit. It wasn't no park over. And the video was done on a Saturday. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like... They lied and said people was picking their kids up from school and seeing the whole bunch. Come on, man. Come on, man. Right. Come on, like realistically. In the middle of school. <laughs> come, like, come on, man. Like, well, come on, man. We be for real. And then the video was shot on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the school was abandoned. So they were finna try to hang us for that shit. Like they was on it took motherfuckers because we from here, so we I got our kids, uh, people got kids who was going to the school who gotta go to another school. Cause the school destroyed, who got brought paperwork, you know what I'm saying? And showing like, man, that school destroyed, they lying. Man, that, that these is this this kid is this my kid is my they all wanted to meet both. Mm -hmm. They lying. The police lying. And it took a federal judge to be like, okay, nah, y'all lying, y'all targeting these people. Mm -hmm. Y'all targeting this shit. This shit shouldn't be even be in federal court. It's supposed to be a state court. 
y'all just want to, but they 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 ain't here now, so we gonna do it. But that, that's some bullshit, you know mm. what I'm saying? Y'all trying to get these people gone for the rest of their life now. And we just had a, a blessed judge. The judge, we had a good judge, man. Really? Like, yeah, Nancy Atlas. Like, she was a real good judge, man. She seen it for what it was. Like, it was an opportunity for them to get publicity yeah. type shit. And they ran that motherfucker. And you, I mean, you seen how it did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that, like, a story like that. Come on, man. Like, you know, I got kids, man. I got a little girl. Like, come on, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? While school going on, people picking up their kids from school and see a whole bunch of niggas gang banging with guns right there. Come on, man. They're like preying on people's e worst e assumptions e yeah, about exactly. gang members and so shit. So that's yeah. what they, exactly. So that's what they did. But that's how dirty the police are. Like mm. they they not right. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 and that's like everywhere from HPD, L LAPD, NYPD, Chicago PD. Come on, man. Like the whole world seen that shit from George Floyd. And all the other cases that didn't follow, you know what I'm saying, behind that with all the people that didn't got killed and they started covering up and laughing. They didn't walk in people's houses and killed them on the couch and they owned their apartments and mm -hmm. they getting 10 years and shit. Like, come on, man. But these people ain't nothing, ain't nothing good or right about these people. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they're doing it because they know they can do it and get away with it. In your mind, are the cops racist or do they just hate, you know, poor people, I'm, gangster it, people, it, it, et cetera? It's a majority of them are. You got to understand, it's some, uh, but majority of them are. But it's just the fact that they feel like they are the law. Mm -hmm. They don't feel like they, they uh, what's the word? Protect and serve the law, whatever the fuck they, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, come on, Adam. Go what's on. the word? They, <laughs> I'm they, not sure they, where you're going they, with it. They feel like they are the law. Like right. They not supposed to enforce the law. They mm -hmm. are the law. They right. above the law. They don't feel like they enforce the law. They're not here to protect the And anything what, they can do they, to they, protect. They can, they can do whatever they yeah. want to do. They don't feel like they are part of that. They like they not a part of it. That's why they call themselves the force. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They're a force. You feel me? They not the people. They a force. Mm -hmm. And that's they, they train them to think like that. They show them to think like that. They mold them and create them like you know what I'm saying, and then they do it for so long they end up getting fucked up and caught up mentally, bro. You feel me? That's why a lot of them need like therapy and shit. You don't be knowing what the motherfucker be seeing every day, you shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker be dealing with this, 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 and they already putting fucked up ways of thinking in their man. They ain't got no kind of real training. Like they just out the and they doing all this whole ass fucked up shit to us. Mm. But, you know what I'm saying? That's why motherfuckers is always fuck 12. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, it's always going to be fuck us. And we just the people. Right. You, don't th you think they look at, look at me and see see the people? No, they see gang banging nigger who needs to die and be in jail. They don't see a person. Mm. And they look at me. They don't give a fuck about me. They want me dead or in jail. Off the streets. They don't care about my daughters with the consequence for them. They don't care about how my mom and my dad and my grandma going to feel about that shit. They just want me dead or in jail. Get them off the streets. He's just another gang-banging nigger. That's how they going to look at it. Some racist intent. Some just perspective of how they looking at it. Have you had situations where cops where they said explicitly racist shit? Like, Hell oh, yeah. Good. Beat the goddamn shit out of me. I feel like it's probably a little different in California, but down there it feels I like I got my it's... ass whooped. That's why I say it, it ain't all racist because I ain't got my ass whooped by black and white laws. Some of the black laws worse than the white ones. Really? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Asian law, like, it ain't, that's why I say you can say that. Yeah, it is some, but it just be their mentality. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, they be fucked up. So like you know what I'm saying? That's why it's always fuck twelve. What charges shit. did they hit you with? And did they they hit they, the whole neighborhood? It was like nah, it gang. was like twenty two. So they originally told twenty two, motherfuckers. And if you was there, you touched the gun, you did anything, and you was a felon, they booked your ass. But in the state, they charged us separately, right? So they wanted to get us booked state wise, and niggas was going to court. Texas is a Second Amendment state. Mm. So they ain't big on gun cases. It's not like California, New York. You can get caught with a gun, Texas, you can get 15 days of probation, 30 days in jail type shit. Because around here, people will talk about Texas or Florida and be like, oh, they can do whatever with, with guns. Pretty much. Like, it you actually know, is. There, it is. There's it a is lot of like restrictions like I had a problem with Rest in P, Baby Ty, NFL Baby Ty had five gun cases at one time. Mm. I was out on bond. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker get caught with two or one gun out here, you ain't gonna see him for a while. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or New York, you know damn well you ain't gonna see him for a while. Way worse than here, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's a Second Amendment state. Mm. So the laws are different. They more lenient. But the problem with that is they didn't need all this extra shit trying to make this thing bigger than what it is. So when they get these 22 and it was 23 people, and then it goes down to 15 because niggas ain't got their case just missing me. Mind you, motherfuckers got other cases they got going on. Motherfuckers fighting robberies. Motherfuckers fighting this. Motherfuckers fighting that. And they 
they get the thorn, you know what I'm saying? Now they, well, you know, they're going to come at you. Yeah, they're going to come at you. Right, look, man, uh, th we'll throw that out if you take six months on this case. And we'll, you know what I'm saying? You know how it go. They go, we will whoop if you, this, that, that, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker in that case to why when it comes to the last level, the people picked up their phone. Hey, man, these guys getting away. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, uh, yeah. You need y'all to step in. All you got to do is have a case that's in the state that could go fed, and the fed could just picked it up. Mm. And that's exactly what they did. And they didn't realize how bullshit it was to the motion of discovery and all the shit came out. <laughs> well, it was like they trying to paint a pencil on the motherfucker. Were you the number one dude they were going after, though? Yeah, pretty much. You're kind of the face of it? Yeah. And Maxo get, oh, get charges as well? Nah, nah, nah. Really? Nah, nah, nah. ain't fuck with Cuz. Cuz ain't touch nothing. Because he didn't have any guns on him in nah, the video? He ain't no, he didn't yeah. touch nothing. I shouldn't have touched nothing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? See, at the end fuck. of the day, I can't blame nobody but me. I'm mm -hmm. a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? I did what I did. I touched what I touched. That's on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you probably had a bunch of other videos throughout your life that had guns in them, and it was never a thing, that. right? I don't want to talk about that. Oh. But uh, it was just like, it was fucked up. I knew I was being targeted, and there wasn't nothing I could do about it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at it, too, like, you see all these motherfucking Trump supporters and rallies and shit, these motherfuckers got a million guns. Ain't no ATF watching them motherfuckers take niggas to jail. Mm. They ain't taking none of them people to jail. They marching with candles, talking about the Jews will not replace us and all kind of bullshit. You ain't seen none, yeah, you ain't seen none <laughs> of motherfuckers going to jail, and you ain't gonna see it. We mm. did a video, they did a video. Right. What's the difference? You know exactly what the difference is. You know mm. what I'm saying? So it's selective uh, prosecution. Yeah. We gonna get who we want to get. You know what I'm saying? When you when you, you have to be aware is to be alive. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said when you were saying race to say that is stupid because it's black people involved in that shit too. There's come black police coming to get your ass too, whoop your motherfucking ass. People ain't even give a damn about that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's they mentals be fucked up, man. Black cop might go harder because he's trying. They to, go harder. Yeah, they go harder. I done had white cops that let me go, and the black cops be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it just that's why I say, I, but it like a lot of times it be, but then a lot of times it don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, because you said that the cops had already been watching you before the Hoover video as well, right? I mean, I would presume. Because mm. I, you know, but at that time I was cleaning my life up. You got to understand, when I started doing music, I was on a different path. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I'm on some, man, I'm finna do this the right way and this, that, and you know what I'm saying? I'm finna get my people out of here. I'm finna show them a different way type shit. So that's why a lot of motherfuckers in the hood love and respect the shit out of the motherfuckers too because I'm one of them and I'm trying to show them a better way. Look, nigga, you finna sell these shirts. Nigga, that's what you finna do. Mm -hmm. Y'all finna get that together, clean that money up. Look, nigga, y'all finna be security, but y'all finna whoop, whoop, you finna go running and this, that, nothing, doing all that. Hey, look, y'all finna be transportation. Y'all finna make sure we move in the unit right. You know what I'm saying? You showing motherfuckers who been in the streets on bullshit their whole life how to move and really get some chabala. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? That's a problem. Y'all something to be reckoned with. You feel what I'm saying? So when you showing them how to move legitly, hey, we ain't just going to do this. We finna go get LLCs and we finna do business the right way. You know what I'm saying? We really making noise and the city really love us. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get Houston big, hmm. but it's hard to get that motherfucker. But when you got them, you got the whole state of Texas. You what, pretty much got the whole South when you get Houston. What charges did you end up actually? Uh, Dad gave him a 922G, fell in the possession of firearm, and a uh, 924A a conspiracy to get a felony weapon. Like, it's different kind of Ricos. Mm. So they got Ricos that go up to five years, and they got Ricos that go up from 20 to life. Mm -hmm. And the small, they just did anything to make us co-defendants. So when it was a, we weren't co-defendants in the state, like I told you earlier. So when the shit came to the fed shit, they made us co-defendants by hitting us with the Rico together. You know what I'm saying? And But a lot of them Ricos got through out and just got the gun cases because the judge seen the truth for what it was. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So... Just, you know, but at the end of the day, you can say they put a target on your back, but we we put a target on our back, too. So you ended up so, taking how many years? They, they ain't take shit. They gave me six and a half. Okay. I ain't take so you took it to trial? Half. Nah, I ain't take shit to trial. Uh oh. Everybody, man, you, you gonna play with the feds? You, you, gonna, <laughs> do, you gonna get 10 years, nigga. You gonna get the max. Right. You go to trial, you ain't playing with them people. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, it was just, they gave me six and a half. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She gave me the most time. She feel like... I'm the reason behind it all, you know what I'm saying? She was like, this is really a bullshit case, but you, you got to get the most time because you're the rapper. This is your video. Wow. I said, I can't do nothing but respect it. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather nobody go to jail than I just do the time if, if it was up to me. Anybody else on the case get significant amounts of time like that or no? Nah. Nah? Really? No. Nah. My nigga Kidro got five. But uh, everybody else on there got like two years, two years, one year, because like I'm telling you, the judge seen what they were trying to do. Mm. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? It, 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 at the end of the day, that came down to who courtroom we was in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? And we was in a good, honorable courtroom with a good person that seen the truth of what it was and was just was not finna let that happen to us. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it just that's how that played out. So you ended up doing how long? You say four? Uh, I did four and a half. I got in that bitch. I was on bullshit the first two years, but I got the uh when I. I started a pen. I started bloody Beaumont, Beaumont pen. Then I got down to the median. You know, that bitch was locked down. I was just a fucked up shit. And hell, I seen niggas get stabbed in the face, the neck, blood cushion. I seen my, the nigga in do, uh, the cell next door to me get stabbed in the face by the phone. Like, that, and that fed pen shit some more. That shit some, boy, that shit some bullshit. That USP. Wow. Yeah, that was some bullshit. I seen a nigga kill by a stick of deodorant. I seen a nigga uh, kill his celly by a breakfast bag. Nigga slammed his celly head in the door because he felt disrespected. How do you kill someone with a stick of deodorant? No, about a stick of the other. Oh, about it. Okay. Yeah. So like, what happened was my silly head we went up there and talked to Issei. He was with the Serenio. Like the Serenio really run like the whole all the they really over all the Michigans as far as like I guess under the Mason Dixon line or whatever. I don't know how that shit goes. Same here. I don't know. Serenios like all the other Michigan game pretty much run up on them. Mm. So, well, whatever, what not. That's ne- ne- neither here nor there. Right. My silly went up there to talk to one of their people about some business he was trying to do. And one of his homeboys had just walked out and was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he was like, man, what, well, hold on, what my deodorant? That motherfucker was just right there. My silly was like, he ain't know what the fuck going on. So Scarface came down and was like, bo, ooh. And the other SA had said, hey, man, you talking about he, because he made an announcement over the tier. It was like, man, you talking about this stick of deodorant? He was like, yeah, such and such just came, got some dope from it. Ooh, ooh. He got that stick out over turned that bitch upside down. It was a green degree with a white cap. He had his initials carved in that bitch. Like, who gave you that? All right. Motherfucker came out high for that deuce. Watching TV like ain't nothing happened. Motherfucker came and hit that bitch in the head. Like, ha! They locked they, they lock on their lunge loop. Bam! Dropped him. It say, come on. Stay that nigga like 16, 20 times to my tan you, his ass you're up. You're just standing there watching like, what the fuck? Like, everybody in the goddamn tank just standing there watching. It's quiet in the motherfucker. Whenever it gets quiet, it's finna go on. Whenever you can't hear nothing, it's finna go on. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, bam, he, he hitting him. Get up. The two CEOs just sitting in the office, they don't hear nothing. So bam, motherfucker just walking by, hitting the motherfucker in the head, bitch ass nigga. Walking by, hitting him in the head, bitch ass nigga. Like the motherfucker that was watching TV sitting in the chair, he just scooted up. That's the law, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Man, but I guess probably five to 10 minutes later, the CEO came out the office doing it around, see that nigga leaking on that bitch. Like everybody rack it up, oh shit, and woo, woo, woo. Threw that nigga body in the laundry bin, put it on the elevator, took it downstairs. We was down about, I'm going to say we were down about four, three, four months about that shit. But they, they didn't let you out your, your cells for three or four months, you said? Hell no. Really? You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't just that, though, because every time they give us a chance to come out, something else going to happen. Like, they be stay up. Like, they be stay on bullshit. And, and, and so is that just, like, the rule that this dude is, like, damn near dead, bleeding out on the ground, and nobody's allowed to alert the... the nah, like, sometimes you'll go out, because they so used to happen, you'll come back out in three days. But it was like, when shit keep, keep, keep happening, okay, they finna lock this bitch down for a minute now. Mm. They tired of it. You know what I'm saying? Then them niggas end up whooping the laws and hitting the laws in their face with a lot. Like, they, man, Beaumont fucked up. Beaumont people were fucked up. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So shit, like that's why I say I was seeing some shit in that motherfucker. But then like when I got to the medium, it was player niggas was phones and doing this, doing that. I'm like, oh okay, this my this my kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like you know this gang shit out there, that shit weak. You know what I'm saying? Like this my kind of vibe. We really thugging out, like really doing. You you can do this kind of time, make you some money, do you some this and that. So shit, I got to doing the programs and shit. They had passed a little law called First Step Act. And shit, I end up working a year off my sentence. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like doing programs and shit like that. Like going to drug classes, going to uh, behavior thinking classes and shit. What else I'm doing? I'm sitting in this bitch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, I think I forgot what they was taking off. Like you get 10 days every 30 days that you program or some shit like that. And shit, so shit, I'm in there just doing it. But then at first I thought it wasn't going to kick in. And one day they called me in there, bitch. Like they took a year off your sentence and shit. Because I was going to have to do like... On six and a half, because I was in that house fucking up too. I had like fight shots and I was getting phone shots and shit like that. So I was fucking my time up too. But mm-hmm. see, I ain't kill no more. I ain't kill no more. And then it's sick because I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm in this bitch for a music video. Mm-hmm. Like I'm sick in this motherfucker. Like I'm mad in the motherfucker. Like I'm, my life is getting wasted away for a music video, a rap video. 
You know what I'm saying? All the shit I need and all of this, this is what I'm here for. But you're there for the thing that you were doing that you thought was you getting your life going in the right exactly. direction. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the part that was killing me and fucking with my mind. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it, it, it just, it was a lot, bro. It was a lot. I ain't gonna lie, it was a lot. You know what I'm saying? But when I got past that shit, start, start making excuses for myself and start doing shit. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll start thinking of the bigger picture. I might call, get on the phone with Maxo. You know what I'm saying? Get on the phone with uh the uh, little bro, my man. So I might get on the phone with my video man. You know what I'm saying? They're like bitch, you know when you get out of this up, so I'll be I'll be like man, that shit over with. You know what I'm saying? You thought that the music was done? Yeah, I was like man, that shit over with, man. I've been gone too long. So are you surprised getting out after four or five years and and having the people really react like the way yeah, they have been? Yeah, man? I ain't gonna lie, yeah, it was shocking. It was real shocking. You know what I'm saying? It was shocking, but it was certain things that would happen that'll bring me back to life. Like, it was certain things, like, I opened a magazine, and one day I opened a Rolling Stone, I'm going through that bitch, I see Max on that hoe, I'm like, look at this hoe, this is my <laughs> baby. Look at my baby, and this motherfucker shine, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I go through one of them uh, kite magazines, I see uh, sauce in that motherfucker. Mm. I see Lil Jeremy in that bitch, I'm like, man, look at this. I like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I, he got, I, I watched them grow and flourish, you mm. feel me? And I'm happy for them because that's the life I was shooting for and that's the life I had always wanted. But it's got hurt a little bit knowing that you could have been exactly. in those positions as yeah, well, right? Yeah, it hurt, but it also encouraged me. Mm. It's only going to really hurt a hater. At some point, you can use that to push you up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm sitting here hurt because you have, you successful doing what you're supposed to do, and I'm, I can't be in here sour. It ain't your fault I'm in here fucked up. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's what's wrong with motherfuckers. They hating on the next motherfucker. Max almost really fuck with you too, cause he hit me. Like I would have done this interview either way, but he hit me up like making sure like yo like this dude he got a crazy story. Like you should yeah. definitely do this interview. Yeah, that's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Rock, rock for him. You know hmm. what I'm saying? FPC to Lakewood, HDC. But it, it's just it's just like he did my bid with me. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never like just reject no nigga calls and I like they would put money on the motherfucking books and you know what I'm saying? Like he rocked with me. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like a lot of motherfuckers fall off in that time. People don't understand how that shit go. I let this like deal ain't nothing cool about that. That first year, everybody with you. Oh yeah, it's cool. Like everybody woo 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 motherfucker. That second year, some motherfuckers with you. They gonna still answer. Woo woo. Mm -hmm. That third year, it's gonna get shaky. Yeah. Yeah, she ain't gonna be answering that phone like that. Yo, like it's gonna, it's gonna get real. I've been that, that guy. That, I've been the that guy. That fourth you, <laughs> that fourth you. Oh, you ain't getting that answer. You you can count on one hand how many motherfuckers gonna answer that phone. You ain't finna just be in that fifth year. You dead. You might be over. With. <laughs> you dead. Like you know what I'm saying. You ain't exist no more. You just got to get out. I feel bad about saying it, but I've definitely been the guy who was writing and calling during like year one or year two, and then kind of like forgot about it by year four, year five. Yeah, that shit. You so you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You know how that shit go. Like you feel me. I just, that shit just encouraged me, you know what I'm saying? But when I came home, it was like, everybody was like, what are you going to do? Because mm. I didn't get to fully see the, how I was flourishing, you know what I'm saying? Like, when the shit went viral, I was on running from the feds. Mm. And the Hoover video was going viral, I'm on the run. You know what I'm saying? I'm how long were you on the run for? Six months. I ran from the people six months. You stay in Texas? or you? you no, I was ripping and running. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was in transit. You know what I'm saying? I just, I was scared. I ain't going to lie. Like, you should have seen Adam. When them people got me that day, they came, bro. Them people came, bro. Them people really came. Like, they cut off the Florida Turnpike. They had helicopters, put the spikes on the road. They had, like, regular trucks. You know what I'm saying? They had, like, cones and dually shit lit up, like, with police lights all on the inside. Like, they did. I, I just uh, both throw the keys out the car. I'm like, damn, like, okay, yeah, this shit real. All right, mama. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, this shit finna get real, though. Like, that how that shit was. Because, like, I remember when the video came out, and then I remember hearing about there being an arrest made in relationship to it and stuff. But then there there was a YouTube video, I think by Trap Geek, that, that was called Hoover, the, the music video that took down a neighborhood. Yeah. And I felt oh, like man, that man. video got, like, 7 million views and, like, really yeah. increased the lore around yeah. this, where probably a ton of people who didn't even know about no. you or Maxo saw this and were like, holy shit, these dudes are crazy. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much. It gave it a reboost. Mm. That's like Charlemagne did it, CNN, Genius, so all them people blowing it up in the news, shit all over it did it. And then it, it was like, white right when it was going away, here come Trap Geek. <laughs> and it was like, damn, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it was like, I guess, I don't want to say it was a good thing, but I guess more or less it, uh, it played out how it played out, you feel me? Right. Bro, you know, it, all we can do now is 
Make up for the lost times and capitalize. You did, know. Did you mature or did you have any like important realizations while you were locked Man, up? You in ain't terms got no of no choice but to mature in the pen. You don't mature, your ass gonna die. Right. You know, you going out with that goofy ass young dumb shit. If you want to, them they gonna kill your ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody. So it's, it's somebody for everybody. That's what I learned. I learned that. And, you know what I'm saying? We all the biggest, baddest this, and we all going to do this, and we all going to do that. Yeah, everybody going to do that. Yeah, they going to do it too. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, it's different when you going in that bitch with six and a half years. He got life. 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 He got three years, and then he got life. He got two lives. He got 100 years. He got 40. He got 12, 12 years, and then he got life. He got That's how that pen shit is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That shit fucked up. So that yeah, they don't want they don't like you anyway. They ain't going nowhere anyway. Mm. You no, know, life ain't like the state and the state of Texas, life is twenty five years. You can do twenty five make bro. And the feds, they life I mean for the rest of your as and as the long as the day you breathe, till you stop breathing, your paperwork say deceased on that bitch. Mm. They don't want you to go. They trying they want you to die and you dying in that motherfucker. So yeah, man. Like, you know, how you gonna win? <laughs> You come in that bitch for six and a half years. Yeah, play if you want to. So how long were you out before you like started putting music out again? Because the the son's first day out the feds was that well, actually I, the first day? It, it, pretty much because I was at the halfway house for a couple mm -hmm. months. So like I take my hours with my passes. I go record and do things trying to prepare myself. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't writing music in jail. So like I was freestyle. I, I freestyle all my songs. So like I just was. I was just putting it together, like, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. I was critiquing it. And I'm like, I can't drop the video because then they're going to be on my ass. Like, why, how you doing this? And, you know what I'm saying? So I just had to slow roll it. I had to I had to take it piece by piece, and I just kind of planned it. And it was just me and Lil Bro. Me and Lil Bro's car, we was just like, bitch, it's going to go. Trust me, it's going to go. It's going to go. And show sure enough, BLB came, flew down. You know, he he did all Young Thug videos, all Uzi videos, and that man answered the phone for me, you know what I'm saying, when I was in that bitch. The car was answering that phone for me when I was in that bitch. Like, you feel me? And shit, it's like we put a play together, and that bitch went. You know what I'm saying? It was like people miss me. You know what I'm saying? You go from being nobody in jail to barely having people to call, you know what I'm saying? And then you get out, and the whole world love you feel like. Does it feel kind of fake? I'm going to just say they embracing my story. Mm. I feel like I ain't gonna say it's fake. I feel like it's motivation. You know what I'm saying? They look at a nigga like me, like, man, that nigga done went through all this shit. He's still out here doing it. Ain't no excuses. You feel me? Like, everybody got a reason why they ain't got shit or an excuse why they ain't doing something. Mm. Ain't no excuse. That man just did five, four and a half years and just at the bottom of the or, or, or the scum of the earth. You know what I'm saying? He came back and, and getting everything back, he lost times 10. So, like, what's your excuse? Mm. Yeah, like niggas in the feds going cry. I, get, I accept calls all day from the feds. People call me from the 202 numbers all day. They love me down there. You know what I'm saying? They going crazy about me down there because it showed them that they can do it too. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's possible. It's real. Does know? it put the pressure on you, though, that like the music needs to be as good as possible in order to keep those fans on board? No. I mean, I need to stay on their ass. Mm. And stay on their ass, nigga. Like, you know what you just came through, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Because if I uh, if I was back in that cell, they, you know what I'm saying? What's up, cuz? You good? Like, bitch, get, come on, let's go. Same thing, come wake a nigga up, bitch. Come on, we finna do a thigh and push up today. Come on, bitch, we finna do uh, uh, 20 cents and 50. Mm. Or we gonna do 50 cents and 20, or we gonna get getting up. Bitch, come on, who we cooking today? I'm cooking, you cooking. Come on, brody. What's up, what's up? You it's talking, all about the push-ups in kid, there, huh? How, how your kids doing? They, how you this, that, They that? don't give you, uh, like, real weights, huh? So you gotta just do nah, body weight yeah, shit? Nah, not until I got to one spot. I had blue to yard, they got them, uh, Beaumont. Medium, I blew that bitch. Motherfucker was playing me by some coins. So they shipped my ass across the country about that shit. And uh, I got the, they had weights and motherfucker was locking their own doors. It was like Christmas. That last year, <laughs> oh my God, they go to commissary every week. Ain't never no lockdown. That shit was like, I guess it was like a melting calm down point on the way out the door. You know what I'm saying? And that was just, I stumbled on that on the blessing. Because mm -hmm. I really like got there on the whim. Like motherfucker was playing with me by some money at Beaumont. And like I had went to try to do the all that shit because every time about you get a year off, you well, then I ain't qualify for the year off. Mm -hmm. So they was like, you don't get a year halfway house. And then they was like, they ain't giving nobody a halfway house. So I, I ain't want to do it no way. And motherfuckers, because I changed units and went over there and was trying to do that shit to go home, really, motherfuckers felt like they can play with a nigga. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? I went over there, ate his lunch. 
And they shook my ass across the country about that shit. They were mad and bitch about that shit because it caused a race riot. Yeah, I was reading the, the race riot thing. So yeah, that, yeah. that caused a race riot. Yeah, pretty much. How bad did it get? It got bad. It got bad. Anybody but, die? <laughs> nah, ain't nobody dying now. But I know the only reason ain't nobody died because that was at the medium. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That was at the medium. That was at the pen. Motherfucker would have been dead for sure. Really? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was at the medium. So it was like, but I was mad about my money. Like, motherfucker felt like they could play with me. But they shit me, but it ended up helping me because the spot I went to had all these programs available. All this shit you can do. Like, it was like sweet. That bit was sweet. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like more of the Midwest games and shit up there. The, the coalition. I'm finding out about games I had never heard of and shit like that. Like, you know, it's different. It's not like down south. They got... Vice Lords, Crips. I mean, not, uh, they ain't, ain't too many Crips out there. Vice Lords, GDs, BD. It's all like Chicago type. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them the Black Souls. And there's all these different games that, you know, I'm like, damn, what's that? What's that? Okay. Like, they got their whole own culture up here that motherfucker never know about. It. And it's big. Like, it's big, big. But you'll never know about it unless you shoot that way. So it was like just a different crowd. But it was mm -hmm. pretty much the same, but it was not the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I go up there and then I see all the opportunity shit. I took advantage. You know what I'm saying? I took advantage. Like, shit, I'm going to these classes and shit. I'm finna do this shit. I'm finna try to get home to my baby. Right. My daughter at home, man. You know what I'm saying? So Definitely. Yeah, that's what that was hitting on. So have you been having a lot more opportunities come your way since you got out in terms of you got labels talking to you or anything like that? Yeah, but I don't want to speak on that because I don't want to, you know, it's it's beautiful. Mm. I'm going to just say it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to let happen what happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. Oh. It's going to be a movie. But we're just going to let it happen. We ain't going to speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Do you tap in with anybody in L.A. when you come out here? No, I mean I have before, not necessarily tap in. It's just love and respect. You know what I'm saying? And like you know, just what's up? I'm out here. I'm in your city. Like you know, motherfuckers tap in in my city all the time. Damn near every rapper you can think of just hit me, bro. What's up, baby? I'm in town. It, it ain't. It's just you know what I'm saying. Not that they got through or nothing, but but I always yeah. hear L. A. has a bad reputation to out of towners in terms of like people getting extorted or you know, set up and robbed up, and all that kind nah, of shit. I just die if that's what it is. <laughs> really? Yeah, we just do that. I don't know. How, I don't know how else shit. We just do it like that. But is that the kind of warning you hear before you come to L. A. People are like, nah, listen, don't, don't, don't be careful play. who you tap in with. I ain't worried about it. We ain't going. We ain't going. Mm -hmm. So like you know what I'm saying, go with your move. You know what I'm saying? And that's the end of that. But uh, everything I do, it's, it's about love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the homie Alshon Martin and his people. His, Shout his, out Alshon Martin. I remember I was fucking with him before I went in. Like, I was supposed to come down here for like a, uh, I want to say a Thanksgiving drive or something they was having. Mm. But I ain't never got to do Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a bunch of, you know, that's why I say it was, it's people I was supposed to, you know what I'm saying, just fuck with, but I could. I'm on the run from the feds. Mm. And then I ain't trying to bring that kind of heat out here with me, you know what I'm saying? And then, so when I got out, it was just like, shit, I'm happy and blessed that I'm being allowed to be a part of, like, to do my music, being allowed to travel, being allowed to do this, like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, anything I'm I'll be involved in is going to be positive and it's going to be for the good. It's going to be for, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? But, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to come out here. I got to pull up on Gates. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy, Kim Gates. Yeah, so how did he first reach out? No, that's my baby. I've been knowing Gates since 08. Oh, okay. So, like, I knew him before he was Kim Gates, but it was just like, like, I met him at the Trey Day. You know what I'm saying? I used to rock with Trey a lot. I was there. He was with, I think, Hurricane Chris. And uh, I was walking. I had met Chris at the other Trey Day shit. This was at the Ozone Awards, though, and, uh, when Trey punched Mike Jones in the nose. That's oh, why wow. I met him. I met him. He was with Drinking In. You know oh, what I'm wow. saying? He was just cool. We were both really fucked up. He had the same black boost mode flip on our head. He was just a real solid nigga, like genuine. I heard Kevin Gates before he was a rapper was a very. Uh... Yeah, he was genuine. He was, it was always genuine and solid. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went and did that little time, and then I got out, and then I'm looking on TV. He don't ever push your T. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, damn, I'm happy for homie. I wasn't rapping in and no shit like that, but I was like gonna try eventually. Then I started rapping and he caught this case. So when he got out, he was seeing me, he was like, Oh man, look at my baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was just genuine. It's always love. So it's like that's another thing when I say encouragement, like, yeah, I had quit, but then you know how many motherfuckers came to me and said, Hey, bitch, Gates just sorted you out. Tell my car, tell Bo. Mm -hmm. I was like, and then my father was like, is that his name or what does he say? I was like, he say whatever he want to say. That's my baby. Right. And like, you know him? I'm like, yes, I know him. That's my guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my baby. Where did the cartel Bo come from? Well, my granny named me Bo. Okay. That's my granny name. You know what I'm saying? And cartel, like, that's was their name of like 
that's how I was gonna run it. Like you know what I'm saying, pretty much. Not like a as far as like I had straight cash cartel, but it was like I'm not doing that shit like that. And people was just calling me cartel like it was my name. Right. And they and it was like just cartel both. So I just ran with it. Like you know what I'm saying. My granny named me both, and everybody kept calling me cartel. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. So it was like fuck it. I just ran with that shit like that. That shit, people love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Houston is really like Cartel City for real. Mm. People don't know that shit. Like, this is right. It's right there. Man, Houston <laughs> fucked up, bro. It is. <laughs> like, yeah, like, Houston fucked up, bro. Like, it's really, you know what I'm saying? So, well, is it fucked up with a, like crazy mass immigration type shit? Mm, well, that's been that. So it's, that's no. That's old news. Yeah, that's no. That, well, you know what I'm saying? That's family. So, but. As far as like how the cartels be, how they try to make it like that, like them motherfuckers really ain't that. Houston, like, yo, they, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Them the people you don't want to play with. Nah. <laughs> I never forget on Lakewood on uh, Woodland Street, man. Rest in peace, Perkins, man. I think I was, what, 15? Dude had his head cut off, man. His uh, dick cut off in his mouth. Uh, like, I was going to say, bro, Houston fucked up. That's crazy. That's you a statement right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say it's like, Houston fucked up. It could go this, but it, 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 it also can be this. It also can be a beautiful city where you can raise your family instead of, it's so big that you can live on another side of town and be a whole new person with a no new motherfucker never see you and then be on another side of town or another side of town or another side of town. So, like, you got to either be financially in the rut. Or just want to be a part of the bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Because you got options in Houston. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You got options. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of money out there, though, too. So it's like you got to pick and choose. It's your choices. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Your chances and your choices, baby. Definitely. Um, did you catch wind of the fact that a few months back, uh, a fellow Texan came on the podcast and declared himself to be Basically, the the number one gay crip from Dallas. I don't. I don't <laughs> look, man. <laughs> he was wearing a full orange jumpsuit. Oh my god! Those are actually his sunglasses right there. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> man, I don't know. Man. Fresh out of prison, that might hit a little different. You know what I'm huh? saying, you know, I, prison taught me not to judge people. Okay. Because a lot of motherfuckers, homeboys, who they don't know, is in there fucking with boys. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Like, they, like, they, like you, you, it'll fuck you up. Like, them niggas is, you know what I'm saying? So it's just nasty. And it's, 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 to me, I'm not gay, so it's nasty and disgusting to me. Mm-hmm. So, but see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So it's like, it's just wild. But I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say with that, though, to each they own. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what they allowing y'all to do with you from. I, who the fuck am I to speak on? But did you see the clip about? where he's saying that Big X the plug, he's like, he pulled up on me, and Big X is like, nah, I did not pull up on <laughs> Like, he's like trying to make it very clear. <laughs> I ran into homie. It's cool, but I did not pull up on, you know, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a little it's a line there. I mean, Big X cool. I fuck, I, I, I met him. He cool, dude, man. I, I plan on, I, we got some shit coming. Oh really? That'd be yeah. big. But uh, I mean, like I say, man, different strokes for different folks. You know what I'm saying? That's how the GD said. So mm. I'll just leave it at that, man. You know, I don't want to offend nobody. I ain't got no, ooh, but that ain't how we move and where I'm from. Mm. Like we ain't going for no shit like that. But that don't mean it's wrong from where they from. They may be going for that shit. They, mm. they may be cool with where they from. You know what I'm saying? That don't make them no hoes. <laughs> that don't mean because he doing that, he probably possibly won't. Push your shit in, you know what I'm saying? Right. Peel your potato. I don't know that motherfucker. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't he don't know. strike me as the killer type, but anything's possible. Yeah, like you don't know. Like I don't be knowing either. I'm not worried about none of these people. I know right. how it go where I'm from. Right. So like, I can't tell you about the next man. You feel me? And I just leave that shit at that. But where I'm from, like, no. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, a, that's what Maxo said because I called Maxo about that. He said, "Hey, man, that's Dallas. Don't, yeah, don't ask I, me about I, that." Hell <laughs> nah, like hell nah. Hey, it be weird though because the time different now. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you know, I'm just I got our sheep was just way different, man. Mm. Just seeing how the internet was and how this was, and I felt like an old man. 
Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like old oh, man. I'm and the like, world God, is just man. passing you by. Yeah, it like, changes like, every day. Ain't no way this cool. <laughs> ain't no way this is like, but this is what is going on. Right. And if you got some a problem with it, you know what I'm saying? They'll cancel you to your ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you're probably immune to that. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck because I'm not worried about the see the problem come when motherfuckers worry about what the next motherfucker doing. Right. What is you worried about what the next motherfucker doing? Right. The same way you how you ask me that question, you can ask me people that question. They got all the whole ass shit to say with it, but I'm not him, he not me, and I don't give a damn. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting paid off that. That ain't feeding my family. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people be so worried about what the next motherfucker got going on. Right. Get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever a motherfucker doing, like, get your shit together. The world has changed a lot, because, like, even when I was asking Crip Mac about that kind of shit, that's basically what he was saying, too. Hey, I respect whatever people want to do with their lives, but it's not for me. It's probably the best best yeah. thing for anybody to say in that situation. Yeah. Uh, I don't even... Where'd you get the Rich Forever chain? Wow, uh, that's, that's nothing. I don't even talk about shit like that. Do you <laughs> not sign to Rick Ross or anything? Nah. What you know about what the true life chain under it too? It's like uh, took, well, took a rest in peace, Chuck and Trill, but uh, I don't, be, I don't care about shit like that. I talk about shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't like to talk about where you got your chains? Oh, yeah, that's because it's bullshit. That shit don't matter. Like motherfucker, you know what I'm saying well, to me, like motherfucker, be making me put clothes on and shit. Uh -huh. I really be in a tooth and lies and burnt out. I'm burnt out like a motherfucker. So like I come in this bitch with a muscle shirt on and some slippers. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I got a team that's saying, Bo, you gotta put clothes on, Bo, you gotta do this, Bo, you gotta do this. Bo, you, you gotta, gotta put some other people's chains yeah, on. Yeah, no. You gotta yeah. be fucked up. <laughs> but uh like they just be like here. Yeah. So okay, go here. So is the comment yeah. section gonna fill me in on exactly where the chains came from? Who? Oh, well, I guess. Okay. But uh I'll have to rely on them. Yeah. So uh like it's just it's just crazy, bro. Like people be expecting and adapting to a lot of bullshit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, the shit that's supposed to matter don't matter, and the shit that do matter don't matter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rich Forever, that's a slogan that I always ran with because I love, after reading Rick Ross' books, then the motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit tatted on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got Rich Forever on me. You oh, feel yeah. me? Yeah, so it was just like always something. It was like, if I do want to get some some super live shit, I don't know what to get because it's like I don't care about shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh -huh, like, I be thinking about buying land, real estate, houses. Like, that's what prison did to my mind. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? It's like motherfuckers got bad value and the wrong shit, you know what I'm saying? And it lasts while a lot of rap pros and a lot of people go broke. Mm. You feel me? They don't know what to invest their money in. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know what to do with this and they don't know what to do with that. They don't know what to, so they, they go and try to impress the Joneses and they try to go and impress this and then they look up three, four years later, they don't have shit or they stuck in a rut because they don't know what they do with their money. Right. You know what I'm saying? The label ain't doing this for them or they ain't doing that for them. No, you got to invest in yourself. You Even if you get about, signed. You got to learn about IRAs. You got to learn about mm. stocks. You got to learn about that's what that's, you know what I'm saying? Get something to put up for your kids. Mm. You feel me? So that's more or less what I be on. Definitely. What, what's with the mob ties tattoo? Yeah, you know, it is what it is. You fuck with Jay Prince in them? That's family. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like That's family, family. Honeycomb Brazier or Finesse two times? Uh, uh, That's them and they business. I fuck with Finesse. I got songs and shit. Finesse cool dude. Finesse pull up on me all the time in the city. Okay. So, like, that's my guy. I told him but I was going to go out there and time, see him. But at the same time, like, I don't know Brazy. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, ooh, 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 like, I don't know, dude. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's some shit they got going on. From an outsider perspective, they definitely created a bunch of fucking drama and a bunch of controversy that everybody couldn't avoid, even if you're out here. Everybody was paying attention to I, I it. I mean, it's cool, but it, you don't know what tip it on. You don't know if... But you don't, them niggas can be on the phone talking like, yeah, keep doing it. Mm. You don't know what motherfucker going on. A lot on. of people were suspecting that because they're on the same exactly. label, but like, I've seen say, that many times. I say, like, you can't get, you gotta, you can't go off of what you see with this shit, man. You just gotta be you, mm. real and thorough to the bone. You know what I'm saying? You can't go off of songs, motherfucker, boom, boom, bang, bang, all that old shit. That don't mean they kill us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, uh, holding this, that. That, uh, what, 100K, 200K, that money probably be fake as fuck. You don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to go off with stereo bread. I think that's what that's that's part of the main reason the city love me. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because I ain't trying to be like nobody. Motherfucker see me, 
here with a thousand motherfuckers in the club, pull up, doing my best shit, and then they might see me the next day, a chicken plus on wayside with some slippers on, thugging. You know what I'm saying? Give me something to eat. I'm myself. I ain't trying to be like the next motherfucking man. You feel what I'm saying? And that's a problem also because I got to learn, like, I'm not as I'm not regular no more. My people stay on there in my ass about that shit because they be like, I'm, I mean, I'm just both. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. I don't give a damn about none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when I go somewhere and 20, 30 people run up to me, ask me to take pictures. Mm. You know, you see what I'm saying? That's when you realize I'm not regular. Yeah, like, Even if damn, I want to be regular. Yeah, like, and it really clacks on me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I got, like, you know, like, bro, you got to be, I don't got to be dressed here, regular. I can go in here with some shit. That's why my motherfucking nigga is Mexican OT. I love that nigga to the, to the death. No, he's dope. Because we are, we ourselves. Mm. Like, we ain't trying to be all that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, we just ourselves. His come up is crazy. Man, that's my baby. It go yeah. hard in the bitch. Like, it go hard in the motherfucker. We got shit coming. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I fuck with people like that. I don't have time to people who trying to figure out how they going to keep up and how they going to do that. Man, be yourself, man. Get you some money, man. I've seen enough shit out here to, yeah, for the both of us. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm going to tell you, man, if you can get some money out of this music, get you some money out of the music, stay your bitch ass up in the streets. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of jail. You feel what I'm saying? Get you some coins and do something with your money. Don't waste your money. Mm. Don't go try to keep up with the Joneses. Don't try to go buy all these cars that you don't understand how you afford. Don't try to get this big old ass house. You don't wonder how you're going to pay the rent. They go buy all this jewelry that's going to depreciate in value and do all that bullshit. Go get you some IRAs. You know what I'm saying? Go get you some motherfucking CDs. Go get you some stocks. Learn learn the market. Like, really spend your money. Real estate. Get you some highs. To build you some highs. You know what I'm saying? Get you some rent money coming in from your houses. Build that. Get you some fun and some count for your kids and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, get out here doing all this, that, and other. Then, you know, they die because somebody tried to rob them or playing this, that, and other, broke or whatnot. And then who going to take care of your kids? Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, who going to take care of your kids? 100%. Takes a different type of dude to go out and take those serious yeah, like, felony it, chances it, when you got kids at exa- home. Right? Exactly, you know what I'm saying. So that's why I say, man, it really be on you. Mm. It really be, it, it really be on your mind state. It's like what you moving towards. You know what I'm saying. Mm. And, uh, that's why I say. That's why I feel like my city love me like that. Like the South love me like that. Because a motherfucker don't care about a motherfucker being they self. I'm, I'm trying to teach the next motherfucker how to advance in life. Mm. I ain't in, in, encouraging no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the bullshit come my way, I'm a thousand percent with the bullshit. I don't know how to turn it off. All right, I saw that because I saw a video of you fighting some dude in the street back in the day. <laughs> man, that shit was old. I was full of people. I was bad. I was scared of the motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, like, that's bullshit. Like, motherfucker encouraged the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's good but, to see a fair one in Texas, though. Yeah, nah, but I, I actually pulled up to his hood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I was his nigga. I was nervous in the bitch that day. But you know, I was like, motherfucker got me fucked up. But mm-hmm. once again, and I was on the anchor monitor. I saw that too. Yeah. I was dumb in the bitch. Like, man, man, doing dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? It just so happened I'm right here and I'm coming. And entertain bullshit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. You gotta live and learn from your mistakes. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> For real. Audio listeners, that was me talking to the dog. <laughs> Just wanna make sure. Um, okay, are you on good terms with Sauce Walker now? We were never on bad terms. Oh, okay. Y'all gotta, if, if you, yo, if you got a real partner, y'all, you gonna get into it to fall out about something. Right. And it ain't like y'all won't, like, on the next level shit, you just, y'all falling out about something. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you gonna have disagreements with people. That's how you know it's real. If you got a friend that you ain't never had a disagreement from, something ain't right with that. Right. That ain't your friend. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'll give you another example. Yeah, it's, you, niggas beat these motherfuckers in the industry and they everybody successful. You don't know these motherfuckers. Mm. I need to know who you is when you got it. I need to know how you is when you're broke. I need to know how you is when you're going through it with your woman. I need to know how you is when your family members dying. I need to know how you is when you got shit going on with your kids. That's how I know who you is. Mm. I don't know you because now if I just see you and you always up, you always successful. I don't know who you is because mm. soon as a storm comes, you might switch up on me. I don't know who the fuck you is. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's my genuine partner. Mm. Like, that's my homeboy. Like, we kick it, play the game, talk shit. Woo-woo. So we get into it from time to time. I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know that man daddy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit different. I mean, that, that's my man. It's like, that's cool. Do you think it hurts his legend status that he's fucking bitches on OnlyFans? No. You do what the fuck you want to do. Yeah, to me, that helps. That's it. It makes him more legendary. Man, you do what the fuck you want to do. Like, that's the... Pr- Why is somebody worried about what the next man doing? Like once you shit. see the image of Sauce Walker beating some cheeks up, it is kind of hard to forget it. 
Well, I still got it stored in my brain. I ain't seen it, so right I mean, there. I don't know, but it's like, see, it. so that's I'm not trying to think about it, but, but I definitely uh, got it stored uh, up here. But that's him and his thing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. Yeah, that's him, and, that's him and what he got going on, mm. you feel me? Life's too short to just make money from rap. Yeah. If you can make money off your dick, too, you got to do like, that. Man, whatever you doing to get yours, who, how can a motherfucker judge you when they rent do? Mm. Uh, you know, you need that bit money for that business, or you trying to advance a life any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. So that's like, who the fuck, would, or what are you going to do with your commentary to help me get where I got to go? Because mm. if you don't have any ideas or you ain't got nothing for me, I don't give a fuck about what you talking about. I could commentate a sauce walker sex tape any day. <laughs> I could probably add a lot to it as well. <laughs> Man, wow. Voice over. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm coming. Man, yeah, yeah. All right. Last messy question is um, I interviewed a podcaster from Texas named TTE uh, -T -E Naughty recently. I don't know who that is. You don't know about this? No. All right. I'll spare you then. Uh, wow. What was it? Well, apparently he, he got arrested recently and he, he snitched on the spot about his homies planning to kill a rapper. And like on the spot told the cops about it, which was kind of insane for us because he's been telling everybody he's a gangster and shit. And I, I don't know. Hopefully those details are not correct. But that was just kind of a shocking thing that I hadn't really seen happen with a podcaster up till now. I mean, I, don't, I mean, that's that's between him and the niggas he quote unquote gangster in the gang with. Like you know, what I'm saying I don't know what these man these motherfuckers live by different laws. I'm under the old law. Mm. So shit, I can't tell you nothing about this dude and all that. So I say I don't be associating myself with everybody. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? But where I'm from, you that's a no go. That's a new generation. That's yeah. also that's that's in Austin. I came home and I was fucked up by people making like that shit cool. The snitching. There's just so much of it now. It's kind of hard it's to. No, it's just that I just been places where I know they're going to kill you if you come in at USP. They take your paperwork and they see anything like that. They are going to kill you. Really, death. That's what's going to happen. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? So like, if you get to a medium, you they'll just not fuck with you. But if you go to that PM, mm. they are going to kill you. I don't care what race you are. What you got going, who you affiliated with, where you from, they going to fucking kill you. Mm. So it's like, if that's what a motherfucker choosing to do with their life, I don't, I just don't associate with them. You know what I'm mm. saying? That's, that's just, you know, hey, man, do you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't have no comment for you. Mm. You feel me? That ain't me. You feel me? So that is what that is. Makes sense. Um, okay, so where do you feel like you're at right now? What do you What do you need to do to get your career to the next level? Keep doing what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Keep getting this bottle. Keep getting the corn. Keep uh, dropping these hits. Keep collabing with these different artists and keep making these hits and doing these numbers. Like you know what I'm saying? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep going forward. People gonna gravitate. They like I say, they love me for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about all that other shit. They want. They know where I came from, and they want to see me keep going. Mm. <laughs> Definitely. No, I mean, it's super motivating to see you getting out and having the people really embrace you. Because as you know, a lot of times people get locked up. They do three, four, five years. Motherfuckers forget about them. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's very motivating to see that the people are uh, behind you, you know? Yeah, uh, I, I appreciate it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I just love the fact that motherfuckers know they can walk up on me and we can have a regular conversation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, with some artists, they don't be cool. They be nervous as a motherfucker. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm him where I'm from, so... It feel good, you know what I'm saying? And knowing where I came from, I can get something that encouraging enough. Fucker, man, go get you some money. Go get you some money, man. Fuck all the bullshit. Go get you some money. Mm. Go get your shit together. Man, I've been out 60 days. That's it. I ain't Holy have shit. no hand dots. Ain't nobody come out, beat me at no gates with no hundred thighs, and then I ain't, I ain't had it. Ain't no nigga come just keeping it all the way solid. Like, yeah, yeah, nigga, woo, woo, this, you. I ain't getting none of that. I had to get out the mud from the ground. You know mm. what I'm saying? What I'm saying from the ground, like so. There's no excuses. You feel me, nigga? I just ain't had no money on my books. Mm. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Like you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I just couldn't buy some noodles. So what, what's your excuse? You feel what I'm saying? So you can have any excuse, or any reason to be out of there, or you can use that shit to go get you where you need to go. Mm. It's just on you. Like, it's, a, it's what you want. You want to stay broke? Okay, this, you choosing to stay in that lifestyle? Stay in that lifestyle. You want to get you some money? Go get you some money. You know what I'm saying? You got to use your resources around you to get somewhere, baby. You got some kind of resources around you to help you get something together. Mm. You got something going on. 
something in some shape, way, form, or fashion. You feel me? Like the next time I come on here, I want to be on him. I want like him. You feel mm-hmm. me? I want to be next time. I want to be able to tell you, yeah, I just bought some land over there. You know what I'm saying, Adam? I got this going on over here. You pull it up. I got this. Woo, woo, woo. Like, I, yeah, I just I got three houses and I'm getting real estate in three different states. That's what I want to be able to tell you. But mm. I don't want to be telling you about yeah, my partner just caught another murder case. And, you know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 and, well, I just paid my lawyer bond. And yeah, yeah, that's gonna always be in effect. I don't want to talk about that shit though. I want to tell you where the fuck I'm going in life. Mm. I want to tell you about uh, the car that I'm finna buy my daughter. I want to tell you about that shit. You feel me? You know that, that shit though because a nigga was born in the bullshit. Mm. That wasn't even an option. Slaying that motherfucker wasn't ever an option. Getting out here wasn't ever an option. I ain't had no choice with that shit. I was born in that shit. See, I want to talk to you how I'm getting out that shit. Fuck that shit. That shit don't mean nothing. I've been out here 60 days. Don't tell me about what you can't do. Don't tell me nothing about what you can't do. You know whatever the fuck you want to do. Like that. Like for real, yeah. And that's, 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 that's where I stand. I am weirdly motivated by what you just said. Because I can feel the energy of a dude who was just locked up in a fucking cage for four years and how you actually are really taking, like not taking shit for granted right now. And you know that you got this opportunity in front of you and that is a very <laughs> special, important place to be in your life. Shit, you think I'm fucking around? You think I'm finna waste it? I like it. Shit, I ain't got time to be playing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got to adapt to some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's some shit I got to, I'm burnt out on some shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. My baby, my people, we finna go to Steak 48. We finna go to, bitch, I'm finna go to uh, McDonald's. Fuck you talking about? Like, oh, really? You know You're not saying? feeling the high-end steakhouses? Yeah, fuck that really? shit. Really? Like, you know what I'm saying? I finna go, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, bitch, you gotta get a custom. Bitch, you gotta get this. Bitch, you gotta get this. I don't have to do none of that. Yeah, I'm gonna go spend $9 at McDonald's. Like, fucked up. I finna go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's like a strip club. Like, like, I never understood how motherfucker could go. I mean, it's cool. I done made money off of it before, so... On the other end, but motherfuckers go trick off all their money to impress people. Right. Like, you're literally going to the club, and you'll throw all your money in the eye on the bitch to make it look like you got money to everybody else. Mm. The richest people in the world try to don't show, you don't even see it in them. Mm. One Buffett got the same house he was born and grew up in. He drive the same little Toyota or Honda, that little bitty car. Like you'll never know it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a message in that, man. What is we doing? The first time I ever got booked at a strip club and they paid me to be there and gave me a thousand ones to throw really made me think differently about all the other times in my life that I went to the strip club and spent my own money. Spent your own money. Like, uh, (laughs) dumbass. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, come on, man. You got to change the perspective. Like, you feel me? You got, you have to change the perspective. You got to, niggas want to say stand on business. All right, stand on that business. Mm. Get you something, nigga. What you got to show for all that bullshit y'all here doing? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, you like that. What you got, a prison sentence? What you got? Your mama said your kids ain't got their daddy. What you got, nigga? You standing on business. You that seems like you ain't standing on business. You to should me. do a boot camp. No, nah, I ain't in the day. Fuck Have that. a bunch of aspiring rappers come stay there, and every day you just yell at them and tell them how to be better. Nah, I ain't got to do that. You know it could be a good business nah, model, I, though. I, I, they can go to Lakewood. <laughs> Lakewood, my boot camp. Your mama ain't never sold all the food stamps? No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I say like motherfucker trying to be something that you really don't want to be, homie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You really don't want to be like you don't you don't really want that. Like my the the the, the realest shit I ever seen. What name that movie? Didn't say a lad. Uh, Equalizer Part Two. When he went and got the little boy from upstairs, he was finna ride and kill for his brother. That came out, you want to kill somebody, kill me. He held a gun, pointed at to kill me. Come on, now five pounds of pressure. You can't do it. You know, they ain't took the gun. Say, nigga, come on. You want to kill somebody? You know, he, I lied to you, nigga. I lied to your punk ass. Put that gun in his face. Yeah, nigga, I lied to you. Nigga, you, you, know what de- you don't know what death is, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? You don't know what death is, nigga. You, you don't. You don't know what death is. You think you know what death is, nigga? You playing. You can really be something. You got a chance, nigga. You faking out here, nigga. Stop faking, homie. Nigga really do that to you. Because you're going to fuck around and scare somebody. Yeah. And when you're going to scare somebody. You know what I'm, what I'm saying? You feel me? So before you scare somebody, go on handle your business and be somebody. I haven't seen it, but it sounds great. I'm just telling you. <laughs> you know, 
I just put a little tin on the two, but most definitely got a message out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's all that. Yeah. <laughs> Cartel Bell, man, I'm impressed. I feel like you got a, a big career ahead of you. Most definitely. I so appreciate you having me, too, man. I, I got on, I flew out here for this hill, man. Flew out here for a couple of reasons, man, but I most definitely wanted to come see you since the time I talked to you on the FaceTime. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. in the halfway high then. I ain't see all this shit being this far. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't see, I ain't see a few million views later. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah. it happened how it happened, man. I'm happy for it. Ah, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, you got a great definitely. story, and I feel like you're gonna be a, a Texas legend, and you make a lot of money in the next couple of years. Yeah, most definitely. That's the plan, baby. That's the plan. Hold me to it. You Let's know do what it. Saying? Hold me to it. I'm gonna hit you up when I come out there. We're coming out there soon. I right, come out there. Pull up on Tommy G coming out there too. He wanna come to Lakewood. Oh, really? Tommy. Damn, I wonder what title he's gonna give you. Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, motherfucker don't come to the lake, man. Like they ain't gonna, they lake, they ain't coming to the lake. But Tommy G say he gonna come. I seen the shit. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all it's all, it's gonna be like <laughs> hanging out with the most dangerous Hoovers in the world. Oh man. It's gonna be something like that. It's always like the most dangerous of something. <laughs> but that should be a good one. I'm hyped yeah. for that. I right, appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, huh? Cartel Bo. Yeah. Appreciate you, G. The most diff. No jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, and Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe, nojumper.com if you want to support and go turn my man up on all social media platforms and streaming services. Yeah. Appreciate y'all.